very, very brief. And this is basically, um, you know, from what's trending. Yes, I know we have been rocked, we have been hit, and definitely there is one thing that is certain. God is still at work. We have all fallen short of God's glory. As artists, as you know, gospel ministers, and, and basically all of us as gospel fraternity. Because one thing is certain, um, we have failed to remind each and every one of us the first love. And today it's all about you know, returning to the first love. It has been quite a difficult uh, time for me, you know, even as I was trying to just focus on, you know, um, the theme for the day. And, and I kept, you know, wondering, what is it that, Lord, we can be able to do? My burden is to those who are upcoming artists, young, you know, Christians, and, and those who are outside right there. And they're looking in, and they would love to know how can they go about it. One thing is certain. The love of God is so abundant that, you know, we can fall, but then, yes, we can always rise up and, you know, acknowledge our mistakes, um, confess our sins, and he's faithful and just to pick us up and lift us up. And so how, how can we return to, you know, the first love for the Lord? What is this about the first love, you know? When a person receives Christ as his savior, he experiences the delight of first love. We've all fallen, sh you know, fallen in love one with the other. You know, the butterflies, you know, the excitement, you know, the glee, like you can't even stand still. All you feel like is just like, I wanna just, you know, dance, I wanna break, as in, Anybody can see the glow on your face. Those are the excitements of first love. And that's the same spirit that we embrace when we accept Christ in our hearts. We get so excited, you feel renewed, literally, because it's a decision that is made from the heart. Remember the only difference that makes us different with the secular world. It's because we have allowed Christ to have a dwelling place in our lives. That's the only difference. Other than that, you know, when we stand, we are all the same. But it's through him working in us that makes a difference, that the other person can be able to see, hey, there's a difference with that person compared to that person, all right? And so for the Lord, um, God's spirit witnesses and his spirit that he is a child of God, you know, for you now once you accept Christ, all right? So that newfound relationship brings great joy and freedom. Unfortunately, you know, many Christians fall away from this first love, which is very, very natural, you know, and simply because when a believer does not depend on God, to meet his daily needs, his love for God grows cold. It's just like any other relationship, all right? So you are there, you are really struggling, you're really struggling, and it's not working out because, you know, it's not a mutual, it's not a mutual relationship, all right? Because God expects you to depend on him, and then he pours his blessings. But you, you get to that point as human being, you slacken your part, then, of course, the love grows cold, all right? <laughs> Jesus actually addressed this um, in... Um, our, you know, uh, theme for the day, and that is where we're going to find this. Um, Revelation, you know, uh, chapter 2, and this is verse 4. You know, uh, he says, yet I hold this against you. You have forsaken your first love. He was actually talking um, uh, to this particular church. Uh, of Ephesus, you know, and he acknowledged all the efforts that they have put, what they have done, what they have accomplished, and yet he actually reminded them that they had forsaken, you know, the first love. So if you find yourself in this position, and I know many of us do, my plea to you is ask God to have mercy on you, of course, confess, you know, and then try to rekindle your love for him. Recalling your salvation experience and your first love for the Lord, it can actually help you recognize the changes that have developed in your relationship with God since then. We grow, of course we do. And every time we grow, there are stages. But you can be able to account and say, you know what, I have seen the hand of the Lord in my life. Ama manze isiko baya, niliacha God wapi. You know, like, guy, God nilimweka wapi. You know, like you literally can tell, you know. And so 
if you have you know a, a you know a cooler you know a, a relationship i mean when i say cool i don't mean like cool like it's trending it's cold yeah towards god and you're less passionate about spiritual things than you once were then it's about time for you to make that 360 turn and go look for that you know first love so my plea to you is what i have been drumming in through you know my guests today have people whom you can be accountable to may you find a spiritual authority mentors coach you know people that can guide you walk with you and literally poke your life manze atujakuona chat where do you fellowship whom do you sit down with and because as you're there you can be able to sharpen your tools and they'll be able to lift you up waku challenge waku encourage at the same time and lift you up and you'll be able to know enyesi kobaya and if someone comes and tells you i'm you know here to actually you know um con not condemn but advise you in love please accept and know that you are in the picture you may not be able to see that your love for god your relationship towards god is actually called god is using other people to remind you and so today my appeal to all of us is let's go back to the first love as christians including myself let us go back to that excitement that experience and let's fuel that inner person that you can be able to be intimate with him again all right and more so let's just be accountable to each other let's not be quick to judge and uh, let's not be quick to point fingers because we all you know we are uh, we are all sinners all right but grace is sufficient and through the precious and i mean it precious blood of jesus we are redeemed we are set free Let's go back to that first love and may we embrace the fear of the Lord in our lives. And with that, we shall be able to stand firm no matter what as a you know, Christian fraternity and even as individuals in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 Thank you so much, Sally, for, for that sharing. And you know, as Christians, kuna wakati mwingi tunasahau the source, our source. Our source is God. That's where we came uh, from. And uh, God is a spirit also. So whatever is born of the spirit, only the spirit can sustain it. So wakati tunasema bado tunaenda to the far back to the first love, back to the source. Of course when mmea uh, ina ina paliliwa na ina mea lazima ikuwe na vitu kadhaa zinakuja hapo like water like like you have to add fertilizer, you know. So when you're there at the source and you're going back to the first love, enda ukiwa ready pia kupalilia that faith. And of course connect with the spirit and of course utakuwa utakonka to conquer mm. because we have to be Christ like that's why we are Christians uh walking the ways of Christ let us be Christ like and of course God ataendelea kutufungulia milango ingine ilikuwa imefungwa so when we are going astray from his word yes i could just say to malizia lazima ni brag hizi viatu zangu hata kama hujataka kuziona oi ebo kuza tuko na issue battle tuone ni nani itakuwa imechoma imechoma ya mwingine siko ubaya hata kama uko na tick ni nini Ushai unajua Lebo. unajua jina ya ishu uh, hii nakaa ya forest hayya 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 kevinski <laughs> whatever you are <laughs> no, somebody me, educate me educate somebody me somebody needs to know <laughs> eh yani this is courtesy yako ni nike bwana ni nini so mm. unataki hii inaitwa season 2 ish 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 Right. Sorry. Yes, tafadhali. And all this is courtesy of Kevinsky the, the stylist. Yes. All right? Um, say, yeah, I'll end up like on Instagram, Kevinsky underscore the stylist. Mm. Underscore Kevinsky underscore the underscore stylist. Mm -hmm. Utampata pale kwenye Instagram. Twitter, FB, enda pia umuangalie. Of course, akona vitu kali kali. This guy, angu shangi. Uh -uh. Na jifil kama vinye bodybuilder. Ivyo, ni Korean bila maweng. Yes. Mumepata yo? Kwa kisiki yo, yo hoodie, yo, 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 nini. Anyway. Of course, we're looking good courtesy of Kevinsky, the stylist. Ukiata Mr. Pa Kuji, eh, inaitu waje kujichota. Tutatoka hapa usubui. Kevinsky, eh, lakini hapa ni mungu. Okay, enough of that. 
thank you so much. Yes. Uh, we really <laughs> want to appreciate the whole entire team, the yes. transmission crew, you know, uh, the sound team, uh, the camera guys, the programming uh, ladies, you know, the production team, the social media team. I'm not going to mention names. You all know them. I just want to say a big, big thank you, including our own stylist. Thank you so, so much, guys, for your effort, for your input, and making sure that the show just started well, flowed well, and it has ended well. We want to say thank you. Yep. And more so, thank you, Jesus, for healing. You yep. know, we prayed, you know, and yeah. someone was unwell. We took the step of faith, prayed, and they believed, and they are restored in Jesus' name. We want to say thank you, Jesus, for that, because that, too, is a testimony. And we want to say thank you also, Jesus, for ensuring that Mr. Kuchocha over here had a very good show and less kuchocha but more of your praise. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. All those pia wewe kukua apo. Kukubali munga kutumie. And of course I want to also extend this to everyone who, 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 are, who have watched the show. Mm -hmm. Alafu pia wenye wameenda Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. As much as tumeona feedback zinu zime tume, zime tuweka live hapa pia ni lively. Yes. Tumekua tukichangamuka nazo. God bless you so much and of course this is where we come to you every Sunday. Yes. Yes. We have to sign out. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, if you did miss out, don't yeah. worry. A repeat of this on Thursday from 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. will be coming your way right here on Y254 channel. Imagine. Mm, there you go. Have a blessed week. <laughs> we love you. Take care. Yes. And go back to the first love yeah. where it all started. Yep. And if you're wondering what that is, find out. Allow God to come into your heart. Make him your Lord and Savior, and you'll understand the joy and the experience that we're talking about. Until then, Barikiwa. Mm.